What's up everybody? I got a quick one for you today. I was out on the water a couple times ago and I went to turn my rudder because my buddy hooked into a huge snook and the rudder just popped off and I was lucky it didn't fall in the water because I would not have gotten it back. Luckily I have the second uh, rudder control on the other side. But I was thinking to myself, I don't have anything to fix anything should anything break on the kayak when I'm out on the water. So I have been planning for a few weeks what to get and what to store it in and where is it going to go. So what I came up with is I have a full tool kit pretty much to fix anything minor that might come apart or come loose. I'm not going to be able to do major repairs but I can put stuff back together and it all fits into this 3400 waterproof Plano. And let's take a look what's inside. Here is the Plano. You can see it all fits in here. When I shake it, it does not rattle because things are pretty tight. Let's get into it. So, as you can see, I got a lot in here. We're gonna go by it one by one. This first thing is an SAE, you know, standard hex key kit. A lot of these nuts are hex key, especially like the rails and stuff like that. So this is going to be able to tighten those down should they come loose. This is something that I had laying around from backpacking, camping. It is just a small roll of duct tape. Uh, it, you can get a big roll, but I don't need a big roll for a temporary repair that I'm going to bring into shore and fix. So this is just, you know, you can get this at Dick's or Bass Pro Shop or online. It's just a small roll of uh, duct tape. I've got two screwdrivers, a Phillips head and a flat head. Uh, this is what I needed most on the water. Uh, and a lot of the bolts and screws, or a lot of the screws here are Phillips head. But if you look at the drive, a lot of them, the Mirage drive, a lot of them are flathead. So I got a Phillips head and a flathead in there. Uh, these are, this, since it's small, it's just goes in here. These are quarter by 20 nylon locking nuts. These go on the drive should one come off while on the water. I've got six extra ones. Um, costs like $2 at Lowe's. Uh, I got some Loctite should I, a screw come loose and I need to put it back in, I can put a little Loctite on there. And we also have a, this is an open-ended wrench that I had extra. It is a short version to fit in here. The main one is 7 sixteenths of an inch open-ended so that you can get to the bolts on the Mirage Drive. Uh, this is a 3 three eighths also, but um, I don't think that there are any sizes 3 eighths, but this is mainly for the 7 sixteenths open-ended wrench. Um, I wanted to get WD-40. I bought WD-40 for the drive, but it didn't fit in here. So this is the Hobie uh, Multi-Lube, and it comes with the app applicator pin so you can get into really close spots should you need to lubricate a certain spot. These are mini locking vice grips by uh, Irwin. You can get a smaller, I mean you can get a cheaper brand, but this is what I went with. These locks should you need to clamp something together and uh, keep it there. These are really good locking clamps. And then this is the bungee tool. Uh, I, I wasn't gonna get it, but I decided to get it. I might as well, because I want to take the bungee out of my rear anyway, and I don't want to mess them up. So this is the, the uh, tool for that. So, I mean, I can... I can fix just about anything on the kayak with this tool set that I have. And uh, if 
any other suggestions, let me know somehow. You won't be able to leave a comment for this in this video because comments are disabled because YouTube's stupid. But that's about it. And I'm pretty confident going out on the water and being able to make those minor repairs that I might need from just normal wear and tear. Uh, like I said, my main thing was that rudder handle uh, came off. It's actually loose again, so I'm going to put some Loctite on there and fix that. But that's it. Uh, give me a thumbs up, hit that red subscribe button for more videos, and we'll see you in the next one.